Jensen, a unit who specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat and the last thing her opponent sees is her fist. In today's video, we are going to talk about Jensen's best team comps, best builds, best weapons, and of course, how many copies you need on her in order for her to work. But let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Now, when we take a look at Jensen's forte, the number one thing that you want to prioritize is her forte circuit, then her resonance liberation, and then her resonance skill. Her basic attack and intro skill is useless, so you don't really have to level up her basic attack and intro skill. You mostly want to level up resonance liberation, forte circuit, and resonance skill. So the way that you want to activate her forte circuit is she's going to have a thing called chi. And the way that you build up these chi stacks is you have to basically spam basic attack. So once you spam basic attack with Jensen, once you reach max stacks with the chi, that's when you can hold heavy attack and she's going to start creating a shield for all of your allies. And this shield basically has three stages. So the first stage, you're not going to get a lot of shield, but when you hold it to the second stage, you're going to get more shield. And then once you reach the third stage, she's going to receive like half, like half of her bar is going to be filled with shield. So she also receives a damage taking reduction by 50%, which is really nice because when she is holding her heavy attack, she is going to be vulnerable. So she is going to take a lot of damage from the enemy. So that damage taking reduction by 50% is really, really good for her forte circuit. When she reaches the final stage of her Zoltan progress, she's going to basically heal your allies on the team. She's going to restore their HP once every six seconds so she also has healing in her forte circuit so she has shield in her forte circuit and she also has healing alongside with damage taken reduction so there's like a lot of things going on in her forte circuit which is really good overall so when you look at jensen's forte circuit you can already tell that she is a unit that specializes in survivability and making sure that your team can actually stay alive now for her resonance liberation purification force field this is a really powerful ultimate because she is going to suck in all of the enemies into one specific spot and she's going to deal AOE damage. So this ultimate is basically like a vacuum. She's going to pull in every single enemy into like a void and they'll be able to take a lot of damage from her ultimate. So her ultimate is very, very strong. You guys should definitely focus on leveling up her resonance liberation because her resonance liberation is key in her kit as well alongside with her forte circuit now for her resonance skill calming air it is a counter and a parry you only want to use this skill when the enemy is about to attack you you don't want to just spam this skill because it's mostly a counter and parry skill so only use it when the enemy is literally about to hit you that's when you want to use her resonance skill calming air now the biggest part of her kit is her outro skill transcendence the next character gains 38% resonance liberation damage deepen for 14 seconds or until they are switched off field. So she's going to give your ally an additional 38% resonance liberation damage deepen for 14 seconds, which is absolutely insane. Now for her inherent skill formless release, it can actually increase the amount of damage she can deal with her ultimate, which is actually pretty good. She's going to receive a 20% damage boost, which is really nice. Now for her last inherent skill reflection, she is going to increase the shield strength of Primordial Chi Spiral by 20%. So this is actually really nice because her shield is what's going to help your team survive a lot. So that additional 20% shield increase for your team is really, really good overall. Now the best weapon in slot for Jensen is Abyss Surges because you're going to get additional attack from this weapon. And on top of that, she is going to receive energy regeneration, which is really good because you want to use her ultimate as much as possible. Plus, it says when hitting a target with resonant skill, it increases basic attack damage bonus by 10% lasting for 8 seconds. When hitting a target with basic attacks, increases resonant skill damage bonus by 10% lasting for 8 seconds. So this is actually really nice because Jensen is going to use her basic attack most of the time because you want to build up her chi stacks. So when you're using her basic attack, you're going to get an additional damage bonus. And on top of that, you're going to receive an additional resonance skill damage bonus as well. So this is literally her best weapon and slot. So if you guys are trying to figure out which weapon you want to go for, for Jensen, you need to try out Abyss Surges. This is the strongest weapon for her. 
Now, a strong four star weapon for her would be the Stone Art. This weapon is in the battle pass. You can't get this for free, but if you are a dolphin and you're spending some money in the game, then the Stone Art is a really strong four star weapon for her. It's going to give her additional crit rate and it's also going to increase her resonance liberation damage bonus by 18%. Now a strong 3 star weapon would be Gauntlet of Night. This is a pretty good weapon for her because it's going to increase her attack and when she uses her intro skill she will receive an additional 8% attack for 10 seconds. Plus you can ascend this weapon, increase the rank and you'll be able to get more attack percentage from this weapon. So Gauntlet of Night is a really good free to play weapon for her because it is a 3 star weapon so you can easily level up the rank of this weapon so that you can receive more attack for Jensen. Now, another decent four star weapon for her would be Hollow Mirage. This weapon is going to give her additional attack, which is really nice overall. But the negative side about this weapon is she cannot receive any sort of damage from the enemy because if she does receive damage, then the amount of stacks that she receives from the additional attack in this weapon will decrease. It says right here when the resonator takes damage, reduces the number of stacks by one. And in total, there's three stacks. So if you get hit three times, you're going to lose all of those stacks and you won't get additional attacks. So that's the negative side about this weapon. But if you're looking for a decent four star weapon for her, Hollow Mirage is really, really nice. Now, the best echo set for Jensen is Sierra Gale. She is a unit who does arrow damage and this set pretty much increases her arrow damage overall, which is really nice. Now, if you don't have the full Sierra Gale four piece set, you can mix the two-piece set Sierra Gale alongside with Lingering Tunes. You're going to get additional attack percentage with the arrow damage bonus. So you can use two-piece Sierra Gale and you can use the two-piece Lingering Tunes. Now the best four-cost echo for Jensen is Philian Berengale. This monster is going to give Jensen additional arrow damage bonus and it's going to give her additional heavy attack damage. So after you use this echo, once you finish use, you know, the attack animations, that's when she will receive additional arrow damage and heavy attack damage. Now, the best echo formation for Jensen is 43311. So what do I mean by that? So as you guys can see right here on, on the top left corner of my screen, there is a thing that says cost 10 out of 12. Basically, each echo has a cost. And when you equip an echo on the character, this cost meter is going to build up and you can't have, you can't basically go over 12 cost. So the best formation that's going to add up to 12 cost is 43311. Now for your cost for Echo, the stat that you wanna have is crit rate or crit damage because she is a unit that is going to deal a lot of damage with her ultimate. So crit rate and crit damage is going to increase her overall damage. Now for your cost three echo, you want to get arrow damage bonus because you want to increase her arrow damage. As you guys can see, I only have attack percentage, but I'm still trying to find an arrow damage bonus set for her. So cost three is arrow damage bonus. And of course, for the next slot, it's also going to be cost three, and that is going to be arrow damage bonus. So for your two cost three echoes, you want to get arrow damage bonus for both of your cost three echoes. Now for your cost one echoes, you want to get attack percentage so that you can increase her overall damage. So let me go over it one more time for you guys. So for cost four, for your cost four echo, crit rate or crit damage, for your cost three echoes, arrow damage bonus, and then for your cost one, attack percentage. Now for her main sub stats, you want to focus on energy regeneration, attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, heavy damage bonus and liberation damage bonus and the reason why i say heavy damage bonus is because she is going to use her heavy attack a lot so you're going to make sure that you want to increase her heavy attack damage and heavy damage bonus is the perfect stat to increase her heavy attack so when it comes to best team comps there are two teams in total that you can use with jensen so number one we have of course jensen as like your she's not your main damage dealer but she is your shield provider and she is your resonance liberation buffer plus she is going to do a lot of aoe damage and we also have rena who's going to focus on buffing your team's damage and also healing and of course kyle charo he is going to be your main dps unit since he excels at resonance liberation jensen is going to increase his ultimate so this is by far the best team for jensen in the game as of to right now 
Now for the second team, if you want Jensen to be your main DPS unit, you can use Mortify as your buffer because he is a heavy attack buffing unit. And since Jensen is going to use her heavy attack a lot, Mortify is going to buff her heavy attack. So this is a really good team if you're trying to make Jensen a main DPS unit. Now we're going to test out this team comp and tower of adversity but let's go ahead and talk about rotation so if you guys are trying to figure out how you should rotate with this team and which character you should start off with so the character that you should start off with with this team comp is verena because verena she is going to buff the team's overall damage so you want to make sure that verena pops that as soon as possible and then you want to switch on over to jensen after that and then once you use jensen you want to use her shield and then her ultimate and then once she does that, you switch to Kyle Charo because Kyle Charo is going to receive that additional Resonance Liberation damage bonus from Jensen. So Kyle Charo is going to receive the damage buff from Verena, and he's also going to receive the Resonance Liberation damage bonus from Jensen. So that is basically the rotation. Verena first, then Jensen, and then Kyle Charo, and you want to use Kyle Charo's ultimate, and you do the same thing over and over again. All right, so we were able to clear that with three stars, which is actually really nice. Of course, when I level up these characters even further, once they reach level 70 or 80, I'll challenge harder bosses, but that's actually pretty good for now. So let's go ahead and talk about constellations and how many copies you need on her in order for Jensen to work. Now, the good thing about this character is she requires no copies. You don't need any copies on her in order for her to work. She works perfectly fine at S0, but we're still gonna take a look at her copies to see which constellation is really good for her. So when we take a look at S1, it says after casting intro skill, Essence of Tao, Jensen gains 100% extra chi from basic attacks for 10 seconds. So this is going to help her build up her chi stack a lot faster so that she can receive you know, the shield for the entire team. So Verdant Branchlet is actually really good for her. S1 is a really nice copy for Jensen. Now for S2, Resonance skill calming air can be used one more time so she can use her resonance skill two times when you activate s2 and then for s3 after staying in the parry stance of resonance skill calming air for 2.5 seconds resonance skill chi counter becomes immediately available so when she stays in the parry stance for more than 2.5 seconds she is going to immediately activate the chi counter resonance skill and then for s4 Multitude of Reflection, when performing Forte Circuit, Heavy Attack, Primordial Chi Spiral, Jensen's Resonance Liberation Purification Force Field Damage is increased by 80% for 14 seconds. This S4 is absolutely cracked. 80% additional damage bonus for her ultimate is crazy. So if you are trying to increase her ultimate damage, S4 is going to be absolutely insane on Jensen. I feel like her S4 has to be the best S4 in the game. I haven't looked at any other characters S4, but 
as of to right now looking at every character's s4 i have to say that her s4 is nuts and then when we take a look at her s5 mirroring introspection the range of resonance liberation and purification force field is increased by 33 percent so the range of her ultimate is going to increase and she'll be able to pretty much do a lot of aoe damage with her ultimate and then when we look at her last constellation which is s6 during forte circuit heavy attack primordial key spiral if jensen performs pushing punch enhanced resonant skill special chi counter can be used one time in five seconds special chi counter deals arrow damage equal to 556.67 percent of jensen's attack consider as heavy attack damage obtain a zone time progress for shield benefits from inherent skill reflections bonus effect so there is a lot going on in her s6 but i'm going to try my best to condense this and pretty much make it sound very simple to you guys so she's going to use her chi counter one more time or like when she uses her chi counter she'll be able to enhance the resonance skill special chi counter and then she's also going to deal additional arrow damage with this counter and this counter is going to be considered as heavy attack damage and the good thing is she is also going to receive another progress shield so in total she has three progress shields but with s6 you'll be able to activate four progress shields so what does that mean that means that she will be able to increase the amount of shields she can have and your team as well so this is actually really nice her s6 is really really good it pretty much increases her damage and survivability but i feel like the best constellations for her is s4 that's like number one because you literally deal nuclear damage with her ultimate and s1 is also really good as well because she'll be able to build up her chi stacks a lot faster so overall this unit is a very strong aoe shield providing unit she can really increase the survivability of your team and i do feel like this unit is extremely underrated because in a lot of tillers that i've seen so far she's placed in like b tier or even a tier and i feel like she is at least an s tier unit because she can literally give your team shield and on top of that she can parry enemy attacks plus she can do a lot of aoe damage so this is a very powerful unit who's going to increase your team survivability and on top of that she is going to increase your allies ultimate damage which is really nice overall so i feel like over time the more units we have in a game her potential and her value will increase over time especially once we get units in the future who specialize in resonance liberation so that's pretty much all i have for you guys in this guide video hopefully it was able to help you guys out make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace